welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. So let us look at question 5. 5a simplify. So what are we simplifying? We are simplifying this expression so that I save much of your time. Then B start the following pseudocode start enter E comma S. If S is less than E then display error message. Else probability is equal to E divided by S. And if display probability stop. Draw a corresponding flow chart for the pseudocode above. So let me go step by step. So we start with M. So for M the trick part is dealing with this division. So what you need to do is equals I'm going to have 10 P to the power 3 then Q to the power 4 then over 8 M to the power 4 then N square then multiply. Then the moment I multiply what I'm going to do is we need to swap this denominator and the numerator. So we are going to have 4 m to the power 4 then n square divided by 25 then p to the power 4 then q to the power 3 like this. Then at this point it becomes easier we'll just start simplifying this so I know that we have 4 into 4 is a 1 4 into 8 is a 2 2 into 2 is a 1 2 into 10 is a 5 F 5 into 5 is a 1, 5 into 25 is a 5. Then next we have n square and n square into n square is a 1, 1 there. Then m to the power 4 and m to the power 4, they are 1, 1 on each. Then we, because we have this p to the power 3 and p to the power 2, it's the same as p to the power 3, then minus 4 here because p to the power 3 divided by p to the power 4. So by the law of indices we subtract the power so it's going to give me p to the power negative 1. So meaning I'm going to remain with a p here then this p to the power 3 goes. Similarly this one is a 1 into this one it will be 4 minus 3 which is equal to q. So what do I end up with? So I'm going to end up with him q because 1 times q times 1 is q over this 5 multiplied by p is a 5p. So this is the answer that we are looking for. So once you do this, you are good to go. You get these two marks. We move to question b. So at this point, we have the start. Then we have enter. Then this. So we need to use cleaner space. So let me go to a new space. So start, we use this symbol. This is a shape. So we put start there. That's what we need. Then after we start, the next we are required to enter. What are we entering? We are entering this. So for entering, use this shape. So this is so we are enter, enter, we are entering E and S. So E comma S. Then the next we need to assess. What are we assessing? We need to assess if this is true. So we ask the question is. Mm -hmm. So we come here where we are asking we use this symbol the diamond type of symbol. So we say is s less than e. That's the question that we need to ask. If the answer is yes then we need to display error message. That's what we need to display. Then if the answer is no, we need to proceed and calculate the probability. So this is a rectangle. So we say probability equals E over S like that. Then so after calculating we need to print which is the same as display. So we need to print the probability. So we need to print print probability, which is the same as the display probability. Like this. 
So now this error message, this is at the point when it comes in now. So it, here it needs to stop. So comes and join in here where it will show. So if the message is incorrect, it needs to come and uh, stop because it means we cannot proceed. If this is not true, we cannot proceed to calculate because we can't have a probability that is greater than 1. So after we finish all this, the next thing is for us to stop. So here we need to have also this symbol which is stop. So this is what we are going to have and this is how you display this in the flowchart. Once you do this, you are good to go. You get these good 5 marks. So make sure that you light this as clear as possible so that you don't lose any unnecessary marks. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Join me in the next episode as we look at question 6.